Hey friends, welcome back to Clean Home Calm Mind. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and in today's video I'm sharing with you five inexpensive and easy DIY Christmas decorations. Um, I'm starting off here with a dried orange garland. I've been wanting to make one of these honestly for a few years now and for whatever reason this year is the year I decided to actually do it and it's so simple and it's once again so inexpensive. You just have to buy a few oranges and you may already have twine at home or something to string them on. If not, that's not very expensive either. Um, but it's pretty simple. So you just slice them up um, fairly thin. Um, not too thin because then they'll just break up when they dry and not too thick because then they won't dry out. Um, and then you just stick them in the oven for a little bit. I'll have everything linked below because it'll be easier for you to see it all written out rather than me just tell you. But like I said, super easy, super simple, and it smells really, really good. So one thing that I did to help speed up the process was put the orange slices on a paper towel and then blot it with another paper towel on top just to kind of soak up all of the extra juices to help them dry up a lot easier. So when I was looking up um, how to do this online, it really works better if you have like a rack to put these on, but I don't have anything like that, but it just helps kind of dry both sides. So what I did do was halfway through the drying process, I flipped them over just to kind of help the bottom side not, you know, be too wet. But here it is all strung up on a garland over my window and I think it looks beautiful and I absolutely love it. So next, I wouldn't say it's really a decoration, but I guess it kind of could be, but it's also a good gift and it's just um, homemade uh, hot cocoa powder. Um, so like I said, I'll have everything linked below, but it's just dried milk, unsweetened cocoa, salt, cornstarch, and powdered sugar. And I actually found this recipe on TikTok, um, so I'll be sure to leave the creators um, TikTok down below just so that way you can check it out for yourself and some of the things she was saying on that TikTok really made a lot of sense as to why we add the certain ingredients like the cornstarch she said kind of makes it more of a smooth and silky um, hot chocolate the powdered sugar it just dissolves a lot easier than just like the regular granulated sugar um, I actually haven't tried this yet so I can't say for sure if it's good or bad um, but it looks delicious and it smells good um, and at the end you'll see, but I ended up just putting it in a container that I had on hand, but you could easily make it so cute with ribbons or stickers or something like that. I just put it on my coffee bar at the end and I will be sure to show you how it all turned out. So the third DIY that I'm sharing with you today is paper bag snowflakes and I've seen this floating around on the internet for a while and I've tried it a couple of times and I just never could quite get it to do right. So I will tell you what did and didn't work for me. Um, so I'll start off by saying you want to use 8 to 10 of like the paper lunch bags. Um, I tried before with um, a glue stick, that's how I'd seen it done with other people and I could not get the bags to stick. 
I tried it with hot glue thinking that would work better, but it was actually, it just made the, all the paper stick together. Um, so we finally tried it with just like the Elmer's like uh, liquid glue like you see here, and that worked so, so well. So I just stacked them all on top and then I actually put something kind of heavy on top of all of the bags and let it dry for like an hour. And that worked really, really well. Um, I wouldn't suggest using more than 10 bags because 10 was kind of the max that I could get my scissors through. Um, and so if you use too many, it will be too thick. And unless you have like amazing scissors, it probably won't work. But I did finally get it to work and I'm so, so thrilled because like I said, I've tried it so many times and it's finally working. I've made a cup, my daughter made one, she ended up using 12 bags. And so you'll see how it looks more. She actually did like six and six and then glued them together. Um, so you'll see how it looks with 12 and 10. And I think actually I would prefer maybe an eight bag uh, snowflake but either way you know you can kind of just do whatever you like and see what works and see what doesn't um, but this is one of my most favorite I think I've done so far I think it just looks so cute and I'll be sure to show you at the end how it all turned out So the fourth uh, DIY that I'm showing you today, it really gave me the most trouble, I think. Um, and I th I'm really not entirely sure I followed the recipe as it said to do, and it was the dough was so sticky. But anyway, it's their cinnamon dough. You, you can either make ornaments, but I actually decided to go ahead and just make a garland out of it. Um, I think ornaments would actually work a little bit better. Um, but I'll be sure to share all of that. So it's just the recipe that I found was um, like one can of cinnamon, a tablespoon of cloves, and a tablespoon of nutmeg. I think if, if I did it again, I wouldn't use the cloves or nutmeg. I would actually use two cans of cinnamon because after I put the, d the dough all together, it was uh, way too wet and sticky. So I ended up adding more cinnamon anyway. So I would just go ahead and start with two cans of cinnamon. Um, this is three fourths cup of applesauce and then two tablespoons of the school glue. Um, like I said, it was just super wet, had to add a lot more powder, uh, cinnamon to it. Um, but I did end up getting it to work, but the, the ornaments were just like super fragile. So if you do this, um, either give yourself time to let it dry out. I was trying to do this really quickly. Um, but if you give it a few more days to dry out, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Um, but anyway just kind of a few tips and tricks for you if you do decide to try this. They are really cute and they smell really good.
So this is just kind of a random interlude and it's because I didn't have a ton of footage of this particular um, DIY for you, but I just had kind of like an example of what you could do. And it's so easy to just go online and find like either free or really inexpensive free like uh, Christmas printables. Um, and I put mine in a frame that I had that was white that I spray painted gold and it's just a vintage picture of Santa. Um, but you can use like washi tape, holiday looking washi tape to hang them. Um, you can just do so many different things. I actually was looking at printing out uh, gift, like vintage looking gift tags and making a garland out of that, but I didn't get around to it unfortunately, but I did still wanna share that with you because it's such a simple, and inexpensive to free uh, thing you can do to make your home feel a little bit more cozy for the holidays. So like I said, I just wanted to share that really quickly uh, in the middle of me making these salt door or cinnamon dough ornaments. So I ended up poking two holes at the top of each ornament with a toothpick so that way I could string the twine through. Um, but really I wish I would have made the holes a little bit bigger because the twine was very difficult to get in and out of those holes as you'll see here. Um, I actually cut out a ton of footage of myself like just struggling to get it through there. Um, but it did turn out, I like like I like the way that it turned out. I had a few of these break on me. I didn't end up using all of them just because it was such a hassle. Um, but you could use a ton. I really actually had the intention of hanging it above my fireplace with the thought that if we turned our fireplace on, maybe like the heat from it would kind of, um, I don't know, was, I don't, I'm not sure the word I'm looking for, but it would activate the scent, I guess. And so that we would smell the cinnamon um, but the, I just didn't have enough, so it wouldn't have been big enough or long enough to put it there, but it would have been really cute, but you'll see here in just a little bit where I did end up putting it, and I'm still happy with it, so, um, yeah, that's, this is actually the last one that I have for you today, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you were able to, um, you know, get a little bit of inspiration from this video. These are all really good to do with kids as well. Um, my kids did help with some of these, but um, they were off camera for the most part. So like I said, I hope that you do one of these. And if you do share down below um, how it went and if you, you know, liked it or whatever, <laughs> I guess. Um, but anyway, I had a lot of fun making these. And so I hope you do too. I'll see you guys next week in another video. Bye guys.